Now we're gonna go to the fun ones. All my old school cars. <laughs> What's up everybody? I'm Darius Leonard. Welcome to my home. And this is how I spent and saved my first million dollars. I'm from a small town called Lakeview, South Carolina, where we have zero stoplights, zero restaurants. It just taught you how to go out and make things on your own. You know, just being from the country, you know, working on a farm and stuff like that. Everywhere you turn, you know, you seem like you got someone who you know, someone you grew up with, or someone your mother grew up with. So it's just amazing just being from a small town that, you know, everybody loves you. My first job was I worked at a car wash when I was 13. And then I worked at a restaurant here in Lakeview, South Carolina. Then when I turned 15, I started working at a golf course. And then once I started to realize that I had a chance to, you know, to go play on the next level in college, I started my own car wash business. So I had time to sit there and watch cars, but I still had enough time, you know, to work out and stuff. So all I did was work <laughs> all day, every day. My brother, Anthony Waters, he got drafted in the third round by the Chargers. And then he went to the Saints and won the Super Bowl there. It's amazing that two brothers from a very small town reaching the ultimate goal, and that is going to the NFL. So it was good for me to just follow in his footsteps. It's kind of hard to describe the feelings that I had getting drafted by the coach, you know, especially where, you know, I got injured at the combine. So I was happy, you know, I was crying. It, it was all you dreamed about, you know, just you and your brother. And that's what we talked about ever since we was younger. And then for it to come true, you know, that just let you know that, you know, hard work's really paying off. And, you know, I had a whole family there. I was blessed and honored and it was a great feeling. They signed me for a four year, 7.3 million deal. So that, that, was a, that was a good blessing. <laughs> you can see the details of my rookie contract right here. I definitely had to get a financial advisor first because I knew me, now that you have money, you're like, oh man, I'm about to go get everything that I wished, I dreamed of. And you know, the financial advisor was like, oh, you better pump your brakes. He wanted me to save my salary and spend all endorsements. You got the money but you don't have to spend the money. If you live with this budget, you know, your money will increase over time. So just try not to spend so much a month. And that's what I've been trying to do. You had a little bit of debt, right? Oh yeah. South Carolina State, got offered me a partial scholarship. I had to pay for school a little bit. Your school debt, did you pay back once you got paid by the NFL? Um, I'm actually still paying it off. You know, I don't want to just go ahead and just pay it off. I'm trying to, trying to build that credit. So then later on in life when I go, you know, to buy another house or something, I'd be pretty smooth. <laughs> we already said how I saved my money. Now I'm gonna tell you how I spent my money. First thing I bought with my money was, I'm a country boy, so I had to get me a pickup truck. Oh, uh, Ford F-250, big diesel. Jack it up and put some big mud tires on it. <laughs> the truck with modification, I'd probably say it was probably $80,000. <laughs> Truck with modification, 80K. All where at the time, my brother was working at a Ford dealership. And so I was like, you know, I want to show him some love too. You know, we both can win together. I went there. At first, I was going to get an F-150. And he was like, you know, you need a bigger truck. You got to go with a big diesel. So and that's why I went with the F-250. You can see a picture of my truck right here. Next thing I got after my truck, I bought my mama a car. <laughs> I bought mama a Mercedes C-Class. That ran me for about $35,000. <laughs> car for my mom, 35K. That was like one of the best feelings in the world. You know, that's one thing like when you dream of, you know, you want to buy mama a house, you want to buy mama a car. And for me to do that, you know, that definitely, you know, it touched my heart and I could tell that she was so excited and it was amazing. I bought two cars at one time when I bought my mama's. I bought another AMG Mercedes Coupe <laughs> for myself. <laughs> I had to, I mean, I, I, had needed, I needed a big boy and I needed something smooth that I could swerve through traffic in. Second car for myself, 60K. Financial advice to say when you start buying cars. Yeah, it was like you gotta you gotta slow down. You gotta you gotta make some plays on the field first. My next thing was pretty big. I had a wedding to pay for net, so it was pretty big. <laughs> I 
next purchase I had, the wedding, <laughs> the wedding came out to be probably a, probably a hundred thousand. I mean, it, it was worth it. You know, I was out there. You know, it was on the beach. It was in the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. You know, a lot of friends, a lot of family, a big wedding. So, I mean, I can't complain. <laughs> and she wanted the wedding. So I said, it's your dream wedding. You know, just go ahead and do what you want to do. And just let me know where to pull up. Let me know when I need to go get fitted for my suit. And that's why it came out to be 100,000. <laughs> wedding, 100K. I did have a rookie dinner, my rookie season, but it wasn't that bad. It was just a linebacker room. It was a nine year vet, and I had a second year vet, and everybody else was rookies. The rookies didn't want to, you know, go crazy on the bill, but you know, the old vet, you know, he he knows some wine, and he knows some, you know, some liquor that, you know, we didn't even know about. And you know, he had to order that just to give me a hard time. Rookie dinner, 2K. You know, I love putting on a suit. You know, I love putting on suits. I love to look good that way. So I probably spent maybe 800 to 1,000 every week that we had to dress up on, a way trip. The home games, you know, that's more urban fit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no but jeans, hat, you know, that's, that's I wear that on a daily, you know? But on, it, it just feels different on a way trip. Now you gotta look good. You're getting on a plane, and then you got, when you get off the plane, you got media there. I think I have the, the swaggiest suits on my team, so I definitely have that competition there. Best dressed teammates? Um, Kenny Moore. Kenny Moore would be very swaggy, and you know, I'm about to go with my other linebacker brother, Anthony Walker. Anthony Walker be, he'd be swaggy too. Game day fits, 12K. I definitely got me some chains, rings, he got me, and then my agent actually gave me the rolling, so I ain't had to spend too much on the rolling. <laughs> my change probably came out to probably 75k altogether. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a big guy who you know have the big cube and stuff like that. I keep mine very simple. I, I, I just can't force myself to spend that much money on jewelry. <laughs> That's actually me and my brother. Uh, my brother got killed back in 2012, so ever since then, you know, I wanted him to be with me, you know, every step of the way. So I wear it every day. Custom chains, 75K. My next big purchase, gotta take care of Mom Dukes. I had to buy Mom a house. <laughs> it's back here in uh, Lakeview, South Carolina, you know. I feel like that's the safest place, you know, for Mama to be at, you know, around everybody she know, and, you know, just still here where, you know, everything started. I'm, I'm a homebody, man. And knowing that the kids are wanting the same dream that I have, and they see me, they they know that they have a chance. The house was probably 170 plus the land. The land was 60K. Was that two, 230? House and land for my mom, 230K. I got, I got inked up before I got to the league and then I got the rest of my, my lower arm done. Who's it for you? Was it a hometown guy? Oh, he's, he's, the, he's the best in the game down here, you know, Jermichael Wright. And he actually did every last tattoo that's that's on my body. Altogether, I probably spent five to 8,000 on tattoos. Tattoos, 5K. I throw parties every every now and again for the hometown. Every Valentine's Day, every 4th of July, you know, those are the times where, you know, I'm home. So, you know, I throw a Valentine's Day party. I do a maniac day for the kids. Then I throw, you know, all my, my all white party. So paying DJ, building, food. I probably spent 20K on parties and my maniac day for the kids. Parties. Maniac Day, 20K.
my wife car. I bought her GLE 43 Mercedes. That ran me another $70,000 <laughs> there. So I guess we pulled out another 70,000. Wifey car, 70K. She picked the car, but I, I ended up trading her car in and surprising her with a Range Rover. I mean, a Range Rover was her dream car. We've been together for 10 years. She probably been talking about it for five years. So I, I had to surprise her with something that she's really been, you know, wanting for since she was a kid. The difference I had to pay for the Range Rover was 40K. <laughs> I drove the AMG to the Range Rover dealership and got her a Range Rover. Since I'm not here all the time, um, I literally just purchased me 15 acres here in Lakeview. About to get me a small trailer there until I get ready to build my house. So bought 15 acres of land for 100,000. And then I bought me a small trailer for 40,000. So that's 140,000 right there. Trailer and land for my future home, 140K. Now we're gonna go to the fun ones. All my old school cars. <laughs> I bought a 72 Monte Carlo, a 72 Cutlass, a 86 T-Top Monte Carlo, and now I have a 75 Caprice. I love classic cars. That's my dream, you know, to have at least 20, 20 classic cars. So that's that's my ultimate goal, to have a great collection. How much did all the rest of the cars add up to? Whew. Now you say how much we have left? <laughs> I ain't, I ain't even know I spent that much. <laughs> I need some more money. <laughs> For the rest of my cars, that takes me past a million. I feel amazing. You know, I feel like a little kid. You know, just thinking about, you know, all the money that you spent. Some of them leisure, and some of it, you know, for, for a good call. So, I mean, I'm happy with what I'm doing. And I'm happy with what I spend my money on. The advice that I would give a rookie coming in, buy what you need, but make sure you still be responsible with it and you know, buy some land, buy something that you can make a profit off of. Just don't spend money and don't have no more money coming in. All right, guys, that's it. I appreciate y'all, you guys who, who's watching and see y'all guys next year on the football field.